With the dedication of the National Monument to honor Martin Luther King Jr., the Drum Major Institute hosted a conversation with some of the key players in the civil rights movement. Martin Luther King had suggested that we had made progress on racism, we had made progress on war, but we really had not made much progress on poverty. We interviewed Ambassador Andrew Young, who emphasized economic justice as a key priority of Dr. King's vision. People will start once again studying what this movement is all about. It's not Obama's fault. It's the intentional determination of the super rich in this society not to pay taxes and to get rid of all of the regulations that limit them from doing anything that they want to do. Decisions aren't being made politically anymore. The political decisions are being made by economists. Like, here's a game. And we're playing touch football. Mm -hmm. And they got on pads and they're playing tackle. And we're wondering why we're getting broke up. See, now, we know football. Mm -hmm. We don't know economics. Mm -hmm. The financial restructuring of America is not going to be something we can do in 90 days like we did the lunch counters or in two or three years like we did the Voting Rights Act. This is going to be a lifelong struggle. Young has continued the work of economic empowerment with organizations like Operation Hope. We have to empower a spirit of innovation, spout up a spirit of entrepreneurship. We must direct our children, our next generation, on how to create jobs to be the job creators in the future, mm -hmm. rather than relying on jobs that won't exist once they graduate college. This is Mark Anthony Thomas, Director of City Limits, with the special news report for News One.